Hello, this is MicroJ101, and today we're going to be doing a little bit more primitive um, aluminum casting. So, this is actually green sand here, uh, which I made out of kitty litter and play sand, which I filtered. Um, ran through a sieve to make sure it was all constant, uh, consistent size. So, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I ground the kitty litter in my ball mill. Um, but it works pretty good, so I just basically made a shape with this tin here, and this is going to be a flywheel. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to run it on the lathe, so it should... Uh, shouldn't really matter too much, and then I just kind of hollowed out the middle there, where that's going to be the, um, whatever you call it, that you would use to put your grub screw in to hold it onto the shaft. And I'm melting aluminum with my natural gas uh, Bunsen burner here, and it's working pretty good actually. I've got the crucible full, so that should be about 2.3 pounds of aluminum, which is how heavy I want this flywheel to be eventually. So uh, this is going to be for my internal combustion engine, I think. So uh, yeah. I've got some slag on the top I need to clean off. This is really full, and I think my crucible is actually close to failing. There's some little sprouts of like aluminum coming out of the side, which are kind of scaring me, but uh, I think it should be all right. You might be able to see them down there. There's some little things sticking out of the side. It's kind of scary, but yeah. Yeah, because if it broke right now, that would be kind of bad, actually, because it would like go all over the desk. I do have a fire extinguisher in here, so that's good. Always have a fire extinguisher around when you're doing crazy stuff like this, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't be too good if it poured on the desk. It would kind of melt some stuff and burn through the desk. But yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. That was potassium nitrate. I think we should be ready to pour here. All right, let's pour it. Get the insulation off here. There we go. Grab my crucible out of here. It's heavy. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's kind of gnarly looking in there. A lot of aluminum junk. Oh, look at the side there. Yeah, I think this crucible is time to be uh, retired. Set list done. What, 10 castings with this crucible? So it's lasted a long time. It's full. That is a full pancake right there. Banged out. All right, but you can see that's pretty hot in there. So let's turn that off. Turn off the natural gas. And that looks real nice. It's a nice pancake. It's nice and silvery. I think I got most of the dross out of that. I think that should have turned out really nice. Actually, probably should have made the walls a little bit higher on that. But that'll be perfect, I think. I am pretty happy with that. So, and then there's the crucible. You can see on the side there, there's some uh, not so good looking spots there. So I probably, this is the last time I'm gonna use this one. That's kind of scary. Yeah, look at that. Probably the aluminum is... Yeah, it's all chipping. That is done. You have to destroy stuff to figure out why it failed. <laughs> well, not really. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what those spots are. Oh uh, yeah, it's a hole. There's a hole right there. <laughs> Good time to retire this. I'm glad it didn't fail. That would have been disastrous. And look at the bottom, it's corroding out too. So you could probably get about 10 castings with one of these, I would guess. I mean, it depends on how long you're heating it up and how hot you're heating it up too. I mean, if you're getting the aluminum glowing red hot every time, it's not going to last very long. But if you're just melting the aluminum and as soon as it melts, you pour it, I mean, it's, it should last you for a little while. Um, it's not the recommended way. I would recommend you buy a uh, nice graphite crucible, but if you're doing it on the cheap like me, well, it'll do you. So just be careful. All right, well, it's still really, really, really hot, but here's the laden, laden frost effect. See how the uh, droplets just kind of bubble up there? It's just kind of riding on a cushion of steam, basically, which is really cool. 
this is a really ineffective way to cool it actually because it's just kind of has a cushion of steam there and it's not gonna go anywhere oh, I spray it right off probably shouldn't do that it's probably gonna um, cool it too quickly and then it'll be really hard on the surface I shouldn't rush it here's all the slag though it's actually pretty efficiently extracted. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but this is pretty light. I mean, for like three pounds of aluminum, I might have maybe maybe half a pound of slag. So I'd say that's pretty efficient. But So I'll just take all this slag to the uh, recycle and uh, get money for it. <laughs> but Because, I mean, if, they, if you have the proper fluxes and stuff, you can extract the um, aluminum from this, but I don't, so... I can't really do much with it. Oh, and by the way, this time I'm not... The other time I was using salt. I think that salt idea does not work at all, so don't use salt. And I'm not sure about... Um, definitely not table salt. Don't use table salt. I'm not sure yet about low salt. This time I only used stump remover or potassium nitrate. So we'll see how this casting turns out, whether it's porous or not or what. Um, but uh, hopefully not. Actually, we could probably extract it now because it is, I mean, it's cool enough where it's not, um, not soft anymore. Yeah, it's not soft anymore. Let's take it out. Why not? I'm really anxious. Impatient. Oh, that looks beautiful. Not too shabby. That's definitely, definitely usable. I can turn that down on the lathe real nice. I mean, I could use it just like that. I just have to find the center of mass and that'll make a nice flywheel just like that. File down some of these rough spot, spots here, hit with the angle grinder a little bit. That would be real nice. It's a nice, nice pancake. Nice muffin. Take whatever you want to call it. You can see the green sand definitely hardens down here. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but I didn't really get this perfect anyway. You can see it's definitely toasted down there. We'll see if we can reuse this green sand. I imagine we can. We just have to add water, but we'll see. It's two and a quarter pounds, so not too bad. Um, it's a good bit heavier than like this other flywheel I was using, which is about... Uh, one and a half pounds, so a good bit heavier, and the mass is further out than this one, so it should have a lot more um, uh, inertia or whatever it's called. So should be good. So now we gotta take it down to Hack Pittsburgh and chuck it in the lathe and do a little bit of work on it to clean it up and make it real nice. <laughs> 